Hi, my name is Rafaka Chaudhary. I'm Chief Technology CTG RAN Automation. I'm here to talk about how HP Telco RAN Automation Solution can help customers deploy and manage multi-vendor hybrid RAN. Uh, so many of our customers, mobile network operators, when they uh, embark on a net RAN transformation journey, uh, there are some challenges that they, they, that they have to face with. For example, when they're rolling out disaggregated RAN, uh, you know, it requires certain system integration because there are components for multiple vendors that needs to be managed together. So we uh, provide an automation solution that can help deploy a multi-vendor RAN with the remote zero-touch provisioning to avoid, uh, uh, you know, manual interventions on-site and then manage the whole stack remotely with a common tool and common set of processes. So I'm going to walk through some of the the key features that our, our solution provides, which has been become available as uh, generally available product since January this year uh, with version one. Uh, and let, let's go to the solution. So here, uh, some of the things that um, the solution uh, brings in functionality from infrastructure management, video VCU management, all the way to the radio management in one simple user interface. We are pre-integrated all those capabilities as one seamless solution, so it's easy to deploy and easy to manage. The functionality that we use that use for infrastructure management is simple for the users to go and simply load the templates for a specific site profile and then from there deploy the uh, the servers on the RAN edge, uh, starting all the way from the firmware to the operating system and then deploy VDU software from specific vendors like Nokia, Samsung, Huawei, and Ericsson, uh, or Airspan, Mavenir, whatever vendor they have. And uh, once the server is, the video is up and running, uh, we connect it to the radio unit and we do the day zero deployment automation for the radio configuration, that all the golden parameters that needs to be there from day one so that the site can go up and the users can start connecting up. W once the solution is up and running, we can monitor full stack from starting from, you know, the, the live status health from the hardware to the metrics for the operating system, uh, VDU containers running over there, the status for that, and all the way to the radio. And uh, we bring in a lot of observability data for all those layers and correlate and do a lot of automation based on that. Some of the examples of those automation would be on the radio side, uh, uh, you know, features like uh, uh, QS optimization, traffic steering, all those proactive uh, optimization that we can do with the radio, playing with the radio parameters so that there is a, there is a certain level of quality of service and, co and customer experience maintained. Uh, on the on the cloud side, uh, we use the same capability to do some closed loop automation and healing for the VDUs and VCUs. One example could be that you know uh, when VDU multiple VDUs are connected to one VCU, when you uh, one of the VCUs goes down, we can automatically move the traffic to another VCU, and then go and respawn the VCU and move the traffic back. So this this helps minimize the impact on a customer when some of the things fail, right? So all of this is provided as one integrated platform, pre-integrated with multiple radio vendors, and offered as a service, over public cloud as well as on the private cloud. Uh, when we say as a service, that means that uh, customer won't have to worry about how I'm gonna you know, deploy and manage this new system. Um, uh, HP, as, as, uh, as a SaaS offer, we deploy the solution for customers, we configure it, we maintain it, patch, patching, updates, uh, backup recovery, all of those things we manage as part of SLAs. Um, and customers have to uh, not worry about these processes, they can focus more on the RAN uh, optimization part. Uh, all of these services come with SLA, of course, and uh, its commercial model is very simple because it's SaaS, so you do not pay by the number of vendors you manage or, or number of users connected to the, to the system, but you pay by the number of sites that you manage, right? So this way it provides a very fast time to market for customers and a faster ROI because they don't have to uh, to commit to, uh, you know, they don't have to commit, uh, make uh, CapEx commitments. Uh, they can pay only for, you know, the number of sites that they use and then grow gradually from there. So here we are, we're talking about the infrastructure deployment. So you can basically, uh, you know, as a first step, load a template file which actually describes uh, you know, different uh, uh, 
different aspects of the site in terms of which video vendor is going to be, what configuration to use, what are the cell IDs and IP addresses and all that kind of stuff, right? And uh, once you load this template, what system does is that connect to the server remotely and, and manage all the configuration from all the way from the firmware to the for the to the uh, operating system. Then uh, what we have is a video catalog here, uh, which actually this is where we import vendor supplied descriptors and, and software packages that are available as catalog. And based on the request for the site profile, system automatically picks the right templates and, and deploy. Um, here we can see uh, the video that, that has been deployed in, in, our, in our lab. Yeah, so this is a Samsung video deployed on, on, on this particular server. Uh, once this uh, video uh, is live, we, uh, we can see, by the way, the health statuses for, for everything, for the video software itself, uh, the pods running on, on that, the status of the pods, uh, you know, different metrics, as well as hardware information like uh, temperature and other, other environment variables, and as well as from the operating system layer. So all of the information is actually brought into one screen. Once the video is deployed, we, we go and run, uh, system automatically uh, picks the right uh, radio configuration recipe that needs to be run for that particular radio side, depending on whether it's 4G or, or, or 3G or 5G and, and which vendor. So you can, I can show you here, for example, what configuration was run for the video that we deployed. So all of these tasks like data fill into NMS, RSI, PC, PCI, anchoring to connect to the right uh, 4G core. Uh, and you can you can see all the actions that will run. Once the site goes out, is 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 live, then we can go and schedule and run certain optimization. So uh, specifically selecting which which RAN site or which RAN vendor uh, or which technology, whether two G, three G, five G, want to run optimization on. So we can select from here, and then select according to the site. There are pre-built policies already already available in the system, a catalog of policies. You can pick the policy, configure the, the default parameters that you want, and then schedule it. And scheduling could be based on something that you want, you want to run all the times, or specific days of the time, or, or based on certain events. And it also can go into uh, different modes, like you can start with an offline simulation, which will, uh, you know, uh, which will not execute anything on the network, but show you that if we had to run this policy, what will be the results. And once you're happy with the offline simulation, you can go to the online simulation, which actually will not make any changes automatically, but suggests that these are the changes that needs to be done to the configuration. Once the NOC engineer is happy, he can go to the, to the closed loop operation, where the system automatically applies all the changes, right? So this way, you're managing the full life cycle from the hardware all the way to the radio configuration as, as one solution. So it's a multi-vendor RAN solution that you can use to manage whether single vendor RAN, VRAN, or ORAN, and uh, coming from multiple layers from multiple vendors in one common platform that operations can, can use to manage the whole, whole RAN life cycle. And this helps them simplify their operating environment as well as have faster time to market. Thank you very much.